What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today's video I'm going to do some ranked. Um, did pretty well in ranked last week, was able to get the number 3 in the ladder, weekly winner thing, so I was at 1901 was my top for that week, and the rating decay just uh, hit for me by the time I'm recording this, so down to 1881, but still third. Hopefully this, this week I can get... Um, somewhere in the top two so i can get a higher weekly winner what deck should i use what deck should i use i've been doing mono decay in the past ranked matches uh let's change it up a little bit did mono energy ranged haven't done growth or order in a bit in a little while actually i'm gonna play some growth aggro growth um haven't played that in ranked in a while and I'll be back when a match is found. I am back. Ranked match has been found. Let's see who it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys know Arachnid. He does that a lot. Um, whenever I get ranked match with him, which is actually quite a lot, because he is, seems like he's in the queue very often, and he always immediately surrenders versus me. And I think he mastered some kind of little trick that there's a small chance that he doesn't lose any rating and the winner doesn't gain any rating if you surrender really, really fast. Um, but luckily I was able to get one rating there. So now we'll wait again. Uh, what deck I choose? Aggro Growth. Here, quickly take a look at my Aggro Growth deck. Yep. Alright, now find me a match. Woo, found a match. Long queue time. Very long queue time. Uh, Sergio P. Flood. I don't think I've ever played this guy before. Um, so this should be cool. Hopefully he's not too low rated so we can actually get a good a good chunk of rating if we win. Hmm. So my hand, it's a pretty good hand. I mean, I give it a 3 drop, a 4 drop, and a 5 drop, and the 3 drop and the 5 drop are like the perfect 3 and 5 drop. I don't have a 2 drop, which sucks, but here, now I'm going to keep this hand. I was going to think about mulliganing if I didn't have a uh, turn 1 or 2 play. I don't really want to go with the turn 1 ragged, but I like the better right here. So I'll sacrifice the rumble. I like to keep hold of that ragged wolf, and hopefully Sergio does not have a spark or an iron whip or desperation. Or something that can kill my better this turn because I would really like to get that Earthborn Mr. Gout on turn two. Okay, good. No spark. He does get a turn two creature though. Um Ranger. I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice the Rat King because I do like uh Wetland Ranger more than Rat King. And I'll put the Mystic in front. Should I go all the way in front? No, it won't really make a difference. I want the versatility of being in the middle. I mean, energy gotta watch out for stuff like Inferno Blast, Thunder Surge, and Blind Rage, which are like uh, area spells that deal damage. But he's only at zero, two resources right now, so I don't have to really worry. Um, so it'd be great if that better survives another turn, and it does. Scatter Gunner. Scatter Gunner is not played too often. Um, well. Hmm. I guess that was a good top deck, and not a Ragged Wolf, because now I could just go two Ragged Wolves to destroy this gun on its own. But I would, did really want to get the Wetland Ranger out this turn. But I think it's much better to just destroy this, get two more creatures on the board. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I will have to expose this Mystic to, like, an Iron Whip from the Scatter Gunner, but... Oh well. And I will sacrifice the Ranger for resources, so next turn I can play a Veteran. And we all know how, know how good Veterans are. All right. See, this would be like an amazing blind rage right here if he, if he plays it. Um, if my better survives this turn, I should have a very good turn next, and I can go veteran. If my better survives, I can go veteran. Perfect. And he's, is he going to move the scatter gunner up? It doesn't look like it, so I'm going to be able to destroy that scatter gunner and the front thing. Too bad I have to sacrifice my wildling against energy. Wildlings are pretty good because once you get that oak blood on them, I bounce dispersal can't even kill them in one shot. So we won't be drawing an enchantment from our mystic and we're going to move up and it doesn't matter that we're clumped together because we uh because he only has four resources and he's top decking 
So now, pretty good control of the board. We should be able to destroy that Dust Hunter next turn unless he has strong protection for it. And he's top decking. So we have the card advantage. Well, actually, we don't have the card advantage. We have the resource advantage and we have control of the board. So it's looking good for us. Um, gonna sacrifice the breaker and did not get out what I was looking for. I wanted to get something like any kind of attack buff to destroy this dust runner. But um, sadly, I don't think that's gonna happen. And now I have to watch out for a possible like piercing projectile play with the dust runner or blast strike. Because I've seen some people pull those off and it's pretty bad. I'm gonna try to keep at least one unit that's attacking next turn, the Earth of Mystic or the Veteran, in, in line with these guys with the dust runner, so maybe we could destroy it next turn. And I'll play a Mystic all the way up here. That will be my turn. I realize you could destroy the Kinfolk Veteran. Um, I may have played that a little oddly. Probably should have protected the Veteran with something, but I don't know. And I want to save that Veteran of the Wild because I want to save it for... Uh... Hmm, that was odd. First, let me say what I was going to say. I was saying I want to save the Veteran of the Wild because I don't want to top deck next turn. I want to have a scroll I could sack in case I want to play the scroll that I top deck. But what he did was very... I thought I saw Cosmic Trifer. I was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. But then I thought he was going to move down so he could destroy the attacking Veteran and the Veteran of the Wild. But he destroyed two Ragdolls that weren't even attacking next turn. So that was a little bit peculiar. Pe peculiar. <laughs> um, I'll draw on Shannon because I can destroy that Dust Runner anyways with the Veteran. Oak Blood is pretty good. I'll sacrifice the Crimson Bull for cards. And I will destroy this. Make sure I have something. Now I think I'm going to want to have something attacking on either side of the board. So I have. So now whatever he plays down, it will be threatened unless he has removal too. And I'll play a Vetter up top. Maybe I can get more stuff. And I'll keep the other Vetter in hand. Um, I could have gone with the Oak Blood and a Vetter of the Wild uh, this turn instead. But I like having the attackers on rows 2 and 4. So, yeah, he had really nothing he could do. So, yeah, if you put anything down, it would have been threat a threat to... Uh, I would have threatened it. So that was pretty good. Um, well, one reading. Well, he's pretty lowly rated. So, you know, that was really fast. I did a double feature the other day, so let's try to do a double feature again. A double feature. And remember, make sure... Um, if you want to see the deck I'm using, if you want to use it yourself, you could just check the description and it should be a copy paste text. If you don't know how that works, I'll quickly show you right now. So basically, what's going to be in the description of this video is this, is that code right there. So if you want to use it, you just go load deck and then you just go import and paste it and you basically have the deck. So I've, I've been trying to do that for my videos. Um, problem with the YouTube the YouTube description is it cuts off some points and adds dashes so when you copy paste it just delete any hyphens or slash or dashes whatever you want to call them um, in the in the block of text and then it should work so I'll be back when a ranked match is found yay found a ranked match so let's see who it is Mopic hello Mopi Hope he's a strong opponent. Um, awesome wetland ranger in hand, but not a not a hand I'm gonna start with because I have no two or three drop or one drop. And this hand is better because I can go two and three, but not quite not quite the best hand because I'd rather have a brave in the turn two than a eventual better. But we'll see. We'll see. Mopic is playing growth. All right. Um. Is tough sacrifice. Yeah, this is a tough sacrifice. I want to keep the Fang Bear four drop. I want I want a two three four. I want better Breaker and Fang Bear. But then this Ragged Wolf Stag Heart play could be played next turn, and I could destroy like a Breeve he has. So I'm going to I'm going to sacrifice the Fang Bear because 
this would be as if the Ragged Wolf stack art play next turn does not, like, happen next turn. If I shouldn't do next turn, I want to be able to play the Breaker. And there are other four drops in this deck. And uh, I do like, um... I do like the... Whatever it's called. The Wetland Ranger more than... More than Fangbear, anyways. So, it did work out for us, because now I can go ahead and... Ragged Wolf Stagheart. So that's also I might have played like this or Brave, I could do that. And maybe I could have assured that anyways by moving down with this Ventral Letter, but actually probably not because he's playing probably Aggro Growth and he almost definitely has some protection like like this Earthborn Mystic. So I'm going to get more more uh, resources now. Sacrifice the Breaker Beast Wildling is awesome. And I'm going to actually play the Earthborn Mystic and not the Wildling. Reason for that is because... When I put down the Wildling, I think I want to have an Oak Blood ready. And Earthborn Mystic is just better by herself than Wildling is by itself. And now this has 3 attack. So he gets the first Wet Energy now. It's pretty good for him. Um, two Wildlings is awesome, but I think we're going to stick with one. Maybe we could put both of these creatures this turn. See, there's the Wildling Oak Blood. Um, so I'm going to run away for now. Have the four health unit in front. And I'm going to put down a wildling and a veteran front. I know the veteran front makes it vulnerable to a ragged wolf, but I don't know. I want to make sure this wildling survives this turn so I can go oak blood on it next turn and maybe even play a creature like the ventral letter on it. So Mopic draws an enchantment. Um, and double stag heart, so that has me really worried. <laughs> I how am I gonna destroy that? Uh, let's see, a rumble. Even if I rumbled this towards me, would I be able to kill it? Eight health, two plus. Let's say this has. Let's say this had uh, two, so that's six. Now I wouldn't even be able to kill with a rumble, but I think it's wise of me to hold on to the rumble though. I think we're gonna need that. As much as I want to go for the big play and like go for the Oak Blood Eventual Letter, big turn, I think I should just go with the Oak Blood because I want to keep that rumble. Um, and I'm going to draw an enchantment, Stag Heart. It's really tough. What do I want to do here? I am going to Oak Blood. Alright. I Oak Blooded. That is that. And, uh, let's see. And may as well just do damage to the middle idol instead of, instead of the fourth idol. Because that's going to die anyways. Okay, so now I have six resources. So I have the card advantage and the resource advantage. Um, and the wildling can get really big really fast. But oh boy. Mopic, Mopic destroys middle idol. How am I... What am I going to do now? Uh... Oof. This isn't relentless. I do almost want to sacrifice for scrolls to see if I can get a veteran. But I also... I don't know. What do I want to do? Let's sacrifice for scrolls and see if I can get a veteran. If I don't, then... How sad. Veteran! Yes! Awesome! Perfect. Uh, so I'll go like this. So boom, boom, killed both of them. This thing is still humongous, and I'll have to sacrifice the attacking Earthborn Mystic, which does is is rather unfortunate. But I have to make sure this Wildling stays alive. So that was a lucky draw for the veteran. I would have still been able to destroy this creature, but I wouldn't have been able to destroy the attacking uh, Mystic. 
Still anyone's game though, because he has a bigger creature than mine. Mine's gonna get some attack really fast though. He goes to the Rat King, that is pretty good. I remember Rat King used to be a big offensive scroll, like amount of growth of play late in the game. And once that came down, like you were just like, uh oh, God hand next turn. But now it's more of a defensive scroll because it's three chump blockers that a non relentless unit just has to use all of its power to kill one. Um, so yeah, like me, I'm not going to destroy this this turn. Maybe I'll be able to destroy this next turn if I get a lucky rumble because all these things are attacking. I should just fill up more of the board this turn and I will do that. I will go ahead and sacrifice the... Vanguard is pretty good actually. But I'm going to sacrifice it because I'm going to play an Earthborn Mystic. Up top. Move you up play a brave keep you in the back I'm gonna play a brave he... actually you're gonna go in the middle you're gonna go here protect you and then I'll go with a brave on the bottom with stack card so now I have five four brave down there does not die with a veteran that was actually a little risky because now he has a f now he has two open idols, but I don't think he'll have the cards to win this turn. Like a double ragged wolf crimson bull would not win. Ooh boy, oh boy, that hurts. He was he's packing quake, so that's good to know. Um, I can kill this. Yes, I can kill this. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna do a lot of idol damage this turn. If I draw a crimson bull, can I win? I'm gonna sacrifice the rumble now. And no, if I had a crucible, I may have been able to win, but I guess I can't. I will go ahead and play. Oh yeah, what I noticed that last round, I didn't place my brave next to the oak blood or next to the wildling or my mystic, so that was a misplay. Um, so now I have to protect this harder. So that's four. That's five actually, and then I'll go. Yeah, I don't think I could win. And then I'll go six and I'll make sure I can deal a bunch of damage and then five damage on that idol sure I like that okay so even if it quakes this coming turn I think I'll be okay because I would lose actually almost everything I don't have this wildling really but Oh, he couldn't even quake anyways because he needs seven resources for quake because of the taxing. But there's a frost scale, which does not quite do enough to stop me, and that is GG. So GG WP was able to squeak out a win. Actually, it's running four idols, so that's cool. And it was pretty close. He had that big creature early on, but this wildling oak blood combo is a force to be reckoned with luckily oak blood's nerfed on the test server which gives it no more magic armor so no more of that but there's still wildling alon vital and wildling leeching ring whatever it's called leech i forgot what it's called so 12 reading almost making up the reading decay not quite um i think i'm still throwing the ladder whoa yay i'm number one <laughs> huh I guess Blinky and Vet Scroll must have taken, like, probably slightly more Raid and Decay than I did because they were just above me, and then I just gained a nice big chunk from Mopic, so I jumped in front of them. So that's awesome. Um, first time I've been number one on the ladder for months. I miss the days of being number one on the ladder, but hopefully I can hold it for the week. So that'll be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe for more content, like the video if you enjoyed, submit your top plays to me at nerptheninja at gmail.com, and keep on scrolling, scrollgers. I'll see you next time.